Good morning. Welcome to the 35th edition of Wake Up Tacoma. Today is Thursday, October 27th. Our top story today, the Halloween dance is today. The dance will start right after school at 3.15 and end at 4.15. See if you can get tickets at lunch. It's going to be bangin's. Hope to see you there. Next week will be the first meeting of the Youth Media Academy. We'll meet in the TV studio at 3.15 on Tuesday and Thursday. See you there. And now a special report on our recent International Night. Hey Paul, pass here. Sure. Nice catch. Good throw. You knocked him out! What are we gonna do? Run away! We can't let anyone find out about this. What were you thinking when you were throwing that ball? You also didn't report anything to the office. He could have been seriously injured. Well, we didn't know he was hurt. Nice try, but we haven't recorded. You knocked him out! What are we gonna do? Run away! We can't let anyone find out about this. So, what next? I don't have a punishment for you, but you gave yourself one. Thank you. I'll give this to his parents. You're free to leave now. We're free! Well, it's easy to say that we shouldn't throw that ball anymore. For sure, let's go home now. Welcome back! Happy Queer History Month! Today we honor Polly Murray and Carl Nassib. Polly Murray was a black, queer, American civil rights activist and lawyer. Polly was assigned female at birth and radically changed the laws regarding sexist rules that were outdated and unfair. They struggled with their gender identity at times, and gender studies scholars are now acknowledging that were Murray living today, they may have identified as a transgender man. But since Polly isn't around to tell us themselves, gender neutral pronouns seem the smartest option. But that's not it. Polly had two notable relationships with a woman and one with a man, though they wrote that the relationship with a man felt wrong and something in them tried to fight. Murray's longest relationship was with Irene Barlow, whom they met in the 1950s while working at a law firm. Murray and Barlow maintained a relationship and partnership until Bar Barlow's death in 1973. Murray was also thought to have a romantic relationship with Peg Holmes in upstate New York during the mid-1930s. Their relationship didn't last very long, but they traveled across the country together. Carl Nassib was the first openly gay NFL player, the 29-year-old Tampa Bay Buccaneers linebacker, who came out publicly in June 2021, talked to Men's Health for their November cover story about his first year since coming out. In his first game, Nassib had a strip sack that helped his team, then the Las Vegas Raiders, to a week one win, but he's acutely aware of how different his season could have gone. Imagine if I ruined it for everyone, he said, like I let up a touchdown or something, and people were like, go back to the closet. That would have been horrible, the defense's end, who has since signed the Tampa Bay added, I feel really lucky that I could have been on the big stage and like make a good play while representing the community to be the first out player in a game and then win. That's it. Please remember to stay tuned for a mindfulness minute. Try to calm your mind and concentrate on your breathing. This has been Rahel. And Maddie with Wake Up Tacoma. Have, Have a great, great day. day.